writing a new book called How to Find Jesus in the Old Testament. Really excited about that. And um, please comment down below on what scriptures you would like to see in that. But I want to go through some of the books that I've written for you to, you could take a look if you want to and check them out. They're all on Amazon, all that stuff. And there's a link down in the description below where you can click on it and see too. But here's one of them. It's called Road to Emmaus. It's just a big broad brush stroke of where you can see Jesus in many places in the Old Testament. Real simple to read and understand. Even a child could read this and understand it. And uh, also, I wrote one on my favorite character in the Old Testament, Joseph, right? Joseph and how he was the father's most favored son. He was sold for silver. He was rejected by his own right, handed over to the Gentiles, put down that place of the condemned, and then raised up. I mean, there's so much in Joseph's life that points to Jesus. And it even goes further in Revelation chapter 5. Remember, there was no one found who could take the scrolls out of the right hand of he who sat on the throne, well, it's also in Joseph's story, he was the only one found worthy to reveal the dreams that Pharaoh had, which was a future plan of God to what? To do what? To save the world and actually to save Israel. So you'll see that in this book here. And then again, the link's down in the description below, so you don't want to miss that. And then this is a book I did on my own life, uh, the same today. It's, um, it's basically my testimony of how God has shown me amazing grace and it's centered around God's love and how he saved me and others, my parents who were part of that Jesus revolution and, and many others. And it's it just a, a book about uh, just how God has built a relationship with me through hard stuff. I was in the Army Rangers and, and felt with a lot of like hard stuff there. Um, also just, you know, in life in general. So this book, I think, will bless your heart. So there's that one. Now, here's another one. This one's done really well um, all over the world, and it's based on Psalm 22, and then it zeroes in on verse 6, where it says that I'm a worm and no man. Well, that worm is called the Tola Shani, okay, in Hebrew, and that is the crimson worm that they used. They would scrape these off of trees, and they would use them and crush them and make a powder to make the red crimson dye for the temple fabrics, for the priestly garments, for the scarlet yarn tied around the scapegoat, for the massive veil of the temple. That's where they got it from in ancient Israel. However, this little creature also shows a picture of what the happened on the cross because it willingly one time in its life climbs up a tree and sticks itself to it and it gives birth to its offspring and at that moment they're dyed that crimson red color for the rest of their lives and then after that there's a red spot red stain on that tree forget this three days and after three days it turns as white as snow and falls to the ground like a snowflake well what does that tell us? It tells us Isaiah 118, right? Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be like crimson, and that word is tola, they shall be like lamb's wool. Like white as lamb's wool, you guys. It's a, it's a good book. I think you'll like it. And this is a hardcover copy of it, and there's colored pictures inside of it um, that you might be interested in. So you can get those two down that link, same thing. All right, well, God bless you guys. I love you, and I'm excited about this new book, How to Find Jesus in the Old Testament. I want it to be a comprehensive book, yet easy to understand. You don't have to be a scholar to read it. Um, lots of good stories. It, it, I think it'll it, it's going to be blessed because I believe that God is going to bless it. My friend Landis and I had a good phone call conversation today, and we're going to... We're, we've been praying about it, and I wish you, and I pray that you would also join in with us to pray for this book, that it will bless people and it will glorify God, glorify His Son, Jesus. That's what it's about, because really this is the main book, right? This is the big book of all books, and that is what? The Bible. The Bible, my friend. This is the big one. This is the one that counts. The Bible. And if first and foremost, before everything else, make sure you're reading this, my friend, okay? <laughs> All right. Love you guys. God bless you. I'll see you next time.